De regreso aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network y ahora vamos a tener una entrevista muy interesante de las que me gusta mucho hacer porque se trata de la industria de los autos y de los jóvenes. And uh, we're going to switch back to English to do this interview now. We're going to talk to Yoret Borrego Dolworth. She's director of talent acquisition and diversity at Chrysler Group. Uh, how are you, Yoret? I'm wonderful, thank you. Thank you for taking the time and uh, I understand that you visited Miami uh, this week, uh, specifically Florida International University to, to launch a very, very cool program, something that I really like to hear about when car manufacturers do this. Can you talk about that, please? Sure, yes. Uh, so we um, have built a relationship with Florida International University. Started about three years ago um, recruiting candidates for our summer internship program from the college, particularly in the engineering program. And over the last two years, we've really built some strong relationships. And um, they were talking to us about a program that they have with local high schools where they're trying to instill a desire to pursue STEM careers, science, technology, engineering, and math. And um, we're looking to partner with corporations to help support, bring certain equipment and tools to the high schools so that they can um, provide these hands-on training classes in, in the high school. So um, together with the Chrysler Foundation, who donated $15,000, uh, Chrysler Group, Um, donated a uh, ProMaster van, it has been um, decaled with FIU um, logos and Chrysler's logos to, to provide the university with um, a vehicle that will then carry the equipment to the high school to do some hands-on learning for the high school students. Oh, that's great. So uh, you said you already had a relationship with FIU, which, by the way, is a very progressive uh, university. They have really cool programs in all the fields, uh, actually. And uh, so you said you have a relationship with them for three years, and now you're expanding, going outside the university to reaching out to younger students even. Yeah, so um, the, the relationship with the university, um, two years ago we made it one of our, we have uh, in our university relations program, we have 24 strategic universities from which we um, have very active recruiting programs. Um, two years ago, FIU, through some um, introductions prior to that, became one of our strategic schools. So we have uh, teams of employees who are regularly on campus talking to professors and deans and students, trying to encourage them to join Chrysler Group um, for our summer internship and then Uh, hopefully if they're successful with a career in the automotive industry with Chrysler. So, uh, and, and this uh, extension of the program going out to high schools, why is that important for Chrysler uh, and, and I guess uh, the automotive industry to, to reach out to younger students now? Well, it's really important because as you know, um, in the papers there's a lot of discussion around um, engineers and the, tech, uh, the STEM fields um, and the lack of... Um, The numbers of graduates that are coming out of these programs are down, and so we really need to get further back in the pipeline to the high schools and even the middle schools to start getting students interested in these fields and have them really understand what the fields are all about. Because you say engineering, and I don't know that um, you know a 14, 15-year-old will understand what that means. Yeah. Um, and FIU has. So many different engineering programs from construction to uh, mechanical, electrical, civil, uh, chemical. I mean, there's just so many different careers you could pursue with an engineering degree that um, we really want to promote that back further back in the education process. Yeah, and uh, you also mentioned that you identified FIU as one of your strategic uh, partners in these kind of programs. Is this because of the actual programs that FIU does? Uh, and it's also the fact that, I, I don't know the number, but I'm going to say about 75% or more are Hispanic students. Is that an important factor in that too? Oh, absolutely. And I think the number is much higher. Yeah, I bet. The Hispanic population, I think, um, is upwards above 50% at least. And so as we look to have a more diverse workforce, we're looking for universities that have high caliber programs and are graduating. I think FIU graduates the most Hispanic engineers in the country. That's amazing, yeah. And that's great. So uh, what uh, 
can you talk a little bit about the programs that are going on already there? Like, for example, uh, with FIU specifically. So you identify students that are doing well in some uh, particular classes and then you start uh, try to recruit them for Chrysler? Or how does that work? Well, we have um, uh, our department, the University Relations Department, manages um, the, the college relationships. So we collaborate with the different organizations, uh, for example, engineering, supply chain, sales and marketing, and we work with um, operations to go on campus and provide opportunities to interact with the students, with the teachers, obviously, because they know who the bright students are, with the deans to understand the programs, to make sure that the, the coursework is in line with what we're looking for from a graduate. Yeah. And, um, you know, we'll host career fairs and other activities where we can interact with the students and then hopefully uh, provide them an offer for our summer internship program, which usually is a, a 90 day program um, either on, on site at our headquarters or at one of our facilities, um, manufacturing facilities. Uh, and um, I don't know if uh, you were in the liberty of talking about that, but like, um, you said manufacturing facilities. You have manufacturing facilities around the world now, so what a, that can be an additional incentive for people to participate in these programs. Yes, with the hopeful uh, completion of the merger with Fiat, um, obviously we become a, a much bigger global player. We'll be the seventh largest automotive company in the world. So opportunities for students um, become, there's a bigger playing field. And, uh, you know, talking to these high school students, I mean, you know, especially in, in, for example, the student body of Booker T. Washington, it's really about letting these kids know that um, there is a big world out there, and if they just study hard, and it won't be easy, but if they study hard, there there is a world of opportunities for them um, to be successful and, and be fulfilled in their career. So you... Um you didn't mention them. I'm going to mention them because, I mean, the, uh, Fiat, the Chrysler group, Fiat Chrysler now has, like, amazing brands, starting from the, the, the Dodge here in the United States, Chrysler, Fiat, but then you have also Ferrari, Maserati, Fiat in, in Italy. So, I mean, those are really uh, names that resonate a lot with the young kids, right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We, we, we are, um, are away in the day where we can actually promote those brands as part of our brand. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it's a draw for a student to say, you know, and in our portfolio is Alfa Romeo, Maserati, Ferrari. Um, those are brands that are, are world-recognized. Yeah, and, and that doesn't mean that they're going to go directly to do an internship in uh, Modena with Maserati, but... I mean, as you were saying, it's a big world out there for uh, for these uh, kids to 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 think about and, and and see other opportunities. So, do you already have like some examples of students that have uh, come out of FIU or other universities from these programs that are working at Chrysler already? Oh, absolutely. So, um, two of the young people who were at the presentation today, where we delivered the van, uh, Maria Pintero and uh, Ariel, um, were both. Um, SIU graduates, engineers, who came and did internships at Chrysler. And then from that, uh, when they graduated, they were offered uh, positions in our Chrysler Institute of Engineering, which is our premier engineering program. It allows our engineering um, employees in the CIE program um, to uh, partake in a two-year rotational program and pursue their master's in either electrical or mechanical engineering uh, which is paid for by the company. Well, that's amazing. So not only the opportunity to take a job with Chrysler, but also get help for further education. So that's fantastic. And uh, again, uh, this is a national show. It's on Sirius XM Radio, so it's, it's heard all over the country. And you mentioned 24 universities that you have uh, partnered with. Uh, I, and I guess they are all over the country, right? And people can participate. And can you explain the process to do that? Yeah, and you don't have to be a student of one of those Oh, okay. to apply. Um, our website is ChryslerCareers.com, and all of the internship uh, opportunities, um, they're not posted now. They will be posted in the next 30 days. So anyone who's uh, interested in looking at opportunities for next summer with Chrysler should, should go to the website, ChryslerCareers.com. And um, there's a, like, our, our program will be 500 students next summer. Wow, that's amazing. Many, yeah, many opportunities, and it's a paid internship, and in certain circumstances, we even provide a uh, housing stipend. Excellent. We're talking to Georgette Borrego-Dolworth. She's Director of Talent Acquisition and Diversity 
at the Chrysler Group. And um, you mentioned the program here in Miami with FIU and uh, this um, truck that is going to go around. When does that start and how can uh, our audience can find out about that program in particular? Yeah, well, that program will be led um, through Florida International University and the Booker T. Washington High School Partnership, and they are looking for other high schools in the Miami area um, to, in which to partner. Uh, but you would uh, probably do that through Florida International University, through the engineering department. Uh, Amir Miramar is the dean of the engineering school, um, and he is leading this effort. Excellent. Yeah, we're going to post uh, the pictures of the truck that was uh, delivered today at FIU and also some of the links uh, that you have mentioned so can audience can go there and uh, take advantage of these amazing opportunities with uh, Chrysler Group. So, your judge, thank you very much for your time. And I guess, uh, as I said uh, at the beginning, I really enjoy when companies can we can share what car manufacturers do besides just making and selling cars. Yeah, we are we are open for business and looking for uh, the next generation to join Chrysler. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Thank you very much. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.